Welcome to another episode of Five Minutes in Horror Haven with Matthew Fisher. Oh my God, dude, I can't believe it. Once again, we are joined by the Lord here, right here, let's see, grabbing hold. Um, very nice optical illusions for everybody involved. Now, today we're going to kind of stray a little bit away from independent film. Um, and we're going to go in the direction of uh, straight vinyl, motherfucker. Straight vinyl. Um, I recently got my got a chance to go back to Bull Moose, which is one of my uh, favorite, you know, spots for picking up vinyl and film um, in current time. And uh, with the big epidemic, everything's been shut down, but the Moose opened up their doors. And with that, you know, they allowed some people to go back in, you know, a little bit at a time, but, you know, still go back in, buy some shit, you know. Um, they happen to have a little sale going, so whenever I see a sale at a place that I like to go shop at, guess what I do? Yep, I go shop. I know, it's terrible. So, without any further ado, I'll jump into some of the um, vinyl I picked up. This is very um, unboxing, I guess, you know what I mean? Unboxing the Bull Moose lot. Not that much, but a little bit. Um, first things first, I picked up Dario Argento's Inferno, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it was a must. I had, uh, this is probably one of, the, one, of the, one of the only ones that I was missing from my collection of uh, Argento scores. He's one of those ones I try to make sure I have, of course, you know what I mean. Let me pop in here real quick. Very beautiful, you know. Very good stuff. I believe it has some big ass pimpin' fucking colored vinyl too. Which you know is my fave. If you watch the show, you know I get into some shit like that. Look at that beautiful this. Woo! Hell yeah, girl. It don't get much better than that. It's got fucking polka dots in it. Nice. Very cool stuff. Like I said, I needed to kind of finish off that mix. That Argento f flavor. So I, uh... I had to grab that up, and it was like 20 bucks, which was dirt cheap for what it is. Uh, next up is a record that I was had my eyes on for a while, but I did not want to pay top price for. <coughs> but a film that I love, uh, shot on video film from <coughs> Troma Who Else. Um, one of the best releases that they've ever had that Lloyd didn't release, didn't direct himself. Ladies and gentlemen, that film is a little film called... Redneck zombies, all right? Now, that's beautiful greatness in itself. We'll pitch, peel, peel it right out of the packaging and shit. We got a nice, beautiful red vinyl on this masterpiece. You know what I mean? Bada boom, bada bing. And uh, we keep it going with that. Very nice. You know, check it out. This one's pretty rare now. It, it kind of came, you could probably get it online, I'm sure. But as far as stores go, I think it got limited supply. It went out... Whoever got them, got them. Whoever didn't get them, you can figure it out. You know what I mean? Next up is another horror classic from back in the day that a lot of folks will enjoy. And it's a movie called Popcorn. Grab your fucking popped corn, head on out, and do it big. Paul Zaza did it nice on this. Like I said, 50% off. They had a whole bunch of 50% off going on. I can't pass that up. This was like 12 bucks. Cannot go wrong with that. It's not open yet, so I'm not going to open it up for the video. Uh, I guess I don't like you guys that much. Maybe I hate myself. A lot of people hate themselves nowadays. But from the 1991 motion picture, Popcorn, great to have. Uh, but next up, I'm not even going to murder this dude's name, because uh, that, would be un that would be unkind to him, I feel. But uh, Wojciech Goloszki. I guess would be how you'd want to do it, but this is a little independent film that I've seen and really liked, um, and, uh, yeah, I've seen it, I liked it, soundtrack was great, so I wanted to pick it up, and that, f that film is a little film called Beyond the Gates, you know what I mean, very good stuff, this one itself is also not opened, so I'm not gonna, 50% off, I paid 15 bucks for this, can't go wrong for 15 bucks, you know what I mean? And it's a great soundtrack. You got great Barbara Crampton in there. You can't go wrong. Um, yeah. So what can you do? 
beautiful Jackson Stewart directed the film. Very nice guy. If you haven't seen Beyond the Gates, check it out. Uh, I think you'll dig it. It's a little throwbacky and uh, enjoyable, you know. Low budget, but they, they make it count. All right. Catch you all in the next episode of Five Minutes in Horror Haven. Homie. <laughs>